Okay, so we're here at Abbeydale Sports Club, where of course it's going to be the Steel City Cup tonight, hosted and brought together by this man, Nick Matthew. Tell us what it's all about. Well, we've not really done something like this before, where it's been a night of world-class squash, but also getting a bit of an audience interaction, getting some celebrities playing, taking part in it, just getting a whole relaxed feel just for Christmas, raise some money for a great cause. It's uh, about three years since we first, first talk, started talking about it, but um, we've just absolutely plumped for a date this year and um, we've just both uh, combined our sort of resources. Nick's pulled in his, uh, his contacts and it looks like it's going to be a really fun night. So you're putting your own spin on it, we've got some celebrities here as well. Dan Walker, Mike Tuck, two lanky men going out first. Tell us what sort of format the spectators can expect. So we're going to start and finish the night with two professional top-notch matches. So we've got Laura Massaro, who's currently number two in the world in the women's world rankings. Um, she's taking on a member of my academy, Nick Wall, who's the British Under-17 champion. They played a couple of weeks ago and it was a dogfight. So they're going to have a really good game that will really get the crowd going and see some world-class squash. I'll end playing the Malaysian number one, world number 30, Nafizwan Adnan. He's a real up-and-coming, exciting player on the world tour and someone who's never played in Sheffield before, so that'll be a new face to the crowd. It's an amazing event to be part of, so yeah, really excited for the evening. Hopefully we can raise a lot of money for charity. We've got a speed gun challenge, see if people have a go against the pros, see if they can hit the ball the same way we do. Everyone fancies themselves a good player, don't they? But this is a chance for them to put money where their mouth is. And of course, the celebrity game, you know, people who are given their time free of charge, Willing to make a fool of themselves, perhaps, unless some of them are dark horses on the squash court and just a bit of fun, etc., and get some great money raised. So the celebrities then, obviously, we've already mentioned Dan Walker. Who else is, who else is playing? And have we got a dark horse? Anyone who you know is a particularly good squash player? Well, Dan Walker, you mentioned he's my potential dark horse. You know, he's, he's about six foot ten. He's got a big reach. And he's playing the Sheffield Sharks captain, Mike Tuck, so there's not going to be much room on this court. You know, <laughs> Between them, they're about 15 feet. We've also got Paul Silky Jones, who's a fantastic character, ex-boxing world champion. You know, Brilliant. If anyone's ever seen his skipping skills, it's unbelievable. And he's coming up against one of the Olympic divers from Sheffield, Freddie Woodward. And it's a chance as well to showcase Sheffield as a city of sport. You know, I've been involved in other sporting events around the city, and it's about time that I got them onto my turf and show them what we can do. Obviously, you and Nick are both very busy with your schedules, away all the time. I know Nick's had trouble sort of organising it. He's had to sort of give it 110%. For you, it's quite nice to play squash in a relaxed environment, I guess. Yeah, it is, although, you know, we don't want to make, make it sound like it's not competitive. I've got a team and we want to win, so it's all for charity and uh, there'll be a lot of fun around the night, but there's also a trophy up for grabs and I think everyone involved in the night is competitive. If you're involved in sport, how can you not be? We want people to have a night that they remember, a night of really good fun, where people can say they've had a go, they've got on court with sort of world champions, also rub shoulders the likes of Dan Walker, in a really relaxed environment. So something a bit different that people can't just do on a, you know, a rainy Thursday night in, uh, in, our, in a beautiful city. It's a charity that's close to most people's hearts and there are some fantastic other charities around this city but I think everyone's been touched by this particular one at some stage. Whenever you're involved with that charity, people always, I think, are always willing to do 10, 15, 20% more. And you know, look at the crowd that's turned out tonight. So yeah. it's, uh, it's great and hopefully we'll raise a good, good deal of cash for it. We're hoping to raise about three to five thousand pounds over the night and you know that'll make a fantastic impact on a certain piece of kit that the Children's Hospital are raising money for. Hopefully it'll become an annual event now. Um, I've already got plans for next year before this one's even gone so I need to forget about that, focus on tonight and hopefully it'll be a good one.